skies glee around the world. There have been celebrations in countries such as Argentina and Scotland in South Africa, a country where she found herself on the wrong side of history. President Jacob Zuma issued a statement expressing his heartfelt condolences on Mrs. Thatcher's death. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Lady Thatcher and the people of the United Kingdom during this time, said President Zuma. Joining us now is the British High Commissioner in South Africa, Dame Nicola Brewer. Dame Brewer, good morning to you. Welcome to Morning Live on SABC2. Good morning, Ruyo. Thank you for joining us. So what has been the reaction uh, within the High Commission, within the uh, British administration? I do know that the Prime Minister spoke about the legacy that Mrs. Thatcher has, ha had left. Has there been a significant amount of shock? Was this expected, considering her condition over the last couple of years? Well, I think the main reaction has been that this is a truly sad time uh, for my country, Great Britain, and we really appreciate all the condolences that have been pouring in from around the world, including from President Jacob Zuma. Um, as my Prime Minister, uh, David Cameron, said yesterday, we have lost someone who was a great leader, a great Prime Minister, and a great Britain. She was also, of course, the first woman Prime Minister uh, in the United Kingdom and she succeeded against uh, great odds mm. and I believe she carved out new space for women in politics. How would you characterize the mood in the UK right now? Well she was a very dis de decisive figure. Um, she wasn't afraid to take controversial decisions so it's fair to say that there are some quite polarized reactions. But I think that the uh, ANC statement yesterday, which uh, acknowledged her defining role, the way she defined politics and public life in Britain for more than a generation, aptly captures uh, uh, the mood. Now, just her legacy, how would you characterize her legacy uh, in Britain and around the world? Well, starting with Britain, and if I may be personal about this, um, my very first uh, diplomatic posting was in Mexico in the middle 1980s. And when I went out to Mexico City, Britain was known as the sick man of Europe. Uh, our economy was in a pretty dire state. And when I came back three years later, uh, she had restored hope in the British people and in a better future for them and their children. She had uh, reignited a belief in ourselves. Yeah. When you met with her, perhaps in private conversation, what kind of a person was she? What kind of impression did she leave with you? Well, I can't, I can't promise to have known her closely. I have been in meetings with her. Mm. As I say, she was a very decisive person. And the best piece of advice I was given was that if she asks you a question, make sure the very first part of your first sentence in answer gets your main point across. Okay, she didn't like to waste much time. She didn't. Yeah. Just where, where there's a bit of anger in countries such as Argentina and so on, uh, what, is your, what is your view of their reaction? Well, um, bringing it closer to home in South Africa, I would say that Baroness Thatcher believed, and you may say this was right or you may say it was wrong, um, but she believed um, that private persuasion, not overt political pressure, so private engagement was the way through, the best way through to positive change in South Africa. We know from some of her private papers, which are starting to come to light, uh, that she was um, very strongly opposed to apartheid, and she argued in private very strongly uh, for the release of former President Nelson Mandela. Yeah, but in public, people seem, I mean, from the tweets we have received, people seem to think that she supported apartheid. Was she misunderstood? Well, I mean, I was making the distinction between what she felt should be said in private and what she felt she should say in public. And, of course, it was the public side that was seen. Yeah. Just looking at where to from here, what are the preparations, how is she going to be laid to rest and, and those kinds of things? Have those been communicated now? Well, here in South Africa, uh, we are flying uh, our flag at half-mast for, for 24 hours and again on the day of the funeral. We will be opening condolence books here in Pretoria and in Cape Town. Um, the announcement from London is that the funeral will be next week. The exact date has not yet been announced. But as you said earlier, Vuyo, it will be a, 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 a ceremonial funeral with full military honours 
of the kind that our Queen Mother and Princess Diana received. Yeah. So, for example, that means that the coffin will travel past the Palace of Westminster to St Paul's Cathedral on an open gun carriage, uh, escorted by the King's uh, Royal Artillery, and the route will be lined by uh, tri-service military personnel and appropriate military music will be played. Yeah, there's been a distinction in the way that it's being described with uh, the funeral that was given to uh, Sir Winston Churchill. Why is that? Well, every funeral is different and we wanted to respect the wishes of Lady Thatcher and her family. Um, so they have been consulted. For example, uh, Lady Thatcher didn't want a separate public memorial. She wanted it to be combined with the funeral service. Um, but a full state funeral is usually reserved for members of the, of the royal family. But I, you, you will see a uh, deeply dignified and impressive uh, uh, funeral uh, service for Baroness Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, we've heard a lot from state. Has there been any word from family, Mark Thatcher, the family at all? No, I think the, we must respect um, the family's grief at this time. Mm. Uh, and I have been uh, very touched how many of the condolences expressly reach out in their thoughts and prayers to the family at this time, as indeed President Zuma's message did. All right. Thank you very much, Dame Nicola Brewer, British High Commissioner to South Africa. Thank you for joining us here on Morning Live this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dame Nicola Brewer is the British High Commissioner to South Africa, joining us and talking about uh, the passing of Baroness Thatcher.